Superintendent of Vista Unified School District is calling for calm right now after two nights of threatening protests. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Carlo Chiquetta. I'm Marcella Lee. Demonstrators are calling for justice after a video shared on social media appeared to show Vista High School football players bullying and assaulting a younger student. CBS 8's David Godfordson has the message from the superintendent. Five sheriff's vehicles showed up on Friday afternoon just before school got out at Vista High School. The deputies were there to try and prevent a repeat of what happened on Wednesday and Thursday nights. This video shows protesters harassing football players in the parking lot after Wednesday's practice, even though there's no evidence these particular players did anything wrong. Demonstrators have protested at both the high school and the Vista Unified School District after the release of this video two weeks ago on social media. It shows football players ganging up on a younger student in the Vista High School locker room. One of the students was holding a wooden broom or mop handle, leading people to think the boy was sexually assaulted. Both the sheriff's department and the school district investigated. Superintendent Matt Doyle put out a video statement on Friday. It is very clear from the disturbing video that a student was physically and emotionally assaulted. Investigations conducted by our district and a separate review by law enforcement concluded the conduct was not sexual assault. I want to assure you these investigations included speaking with the victim and his family. I wanted to interview the superintendent and ask some follow-up questions, but the school district declined. Tonight, Dr. Doyle is calling for calm, saying he too seeks justice for the student involved. People who care for a cause have every right to demonstrate, to make their voices heard, to rally for attention to matters that they care about, but they do not have the right to be physically or verbally threatening. The demonstration turned threatening, and this is unacceptable. Please, we are asking every member of the school community to remember not to jump to conclusions and to vilify the entire football team. Let's act with integrity and honor the brave student who spoke up. Thank you, David Gofferson. The football team was supposed to play tonight, but those games have been forfeited, and the head football coach has been put on leave pending the outcome of the investigation.